iOS 11 is here for iPhones and iPads and today we're going to review it here on the iPhone 5S iOS 11 Beta 1 iPhone 5S review coming up right now. Let's go. You guys requested it, here it is, the iPhone 5S iOS 11 Beta 1 Developer Edition review. So we're gonna go in the settings here and show you that I do have the update ready to go here. Before I update, I am gonna show you the storage that I currently have on the official iOS 10.3.2, but iOS 11 is gonna bring quite a few changes. This is a major software release. Right now I have available 332 or 22.4 megabytes with 10.3.2 14F89 software here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit install now here for the iPhone 5S and I will be back once it's updated. We're not going to sit here all day, are we? Waiting on verification of the update. Here we are, iOS 11 for the iPhone 5S and I'm going to go ahead and set this up and you can see I do not do backups on my iPhone. But going into the 5S, you can see the update has been completed. Welcome to iPhone and here it is, iOS 11 for your iPhone 5S. So taking a look at the lock screen, you can see it's a little bit different here. If I pull down, the clock does come down with me a little bit. It's a little bit cleaner here. If you do go to the left, you can still see your widgets right there. Widgets tray remains here in iOS 11. Pulling up, the older notifications will appear below. Your current notifications will appear in the middle. Swiping to the right, you still have the camera. Hitting the home button goes right into the operating system itself. Going to the settings, let's check out that we do have now bold typeface fonts pretty much across the UI. Going into general and I'm gonna to go to about and you can see that I actually did gain about 1.2 gigabytes or 3 gigabytes on the download so I'm definitely liking that iOS 11 seems to be a lighter OS so far and that's always great to see more space so we're gonna to have to see how this develops going into the future here but scrolling through the settings I don't notice much changes until I get to this little area right here where we're gonna check out Siri and search so you can see Siri and search looks a little bit different touch ID and passcode SOS those icons are just a little bit more visually pleasing they are updated it's not a huge deal but going into wallpapers there's not many new wallpapers this is one you're seeing right here that I actually enabled for this video and it looks like we actually lost a few wallpapers if I'm gonna be honest with you here so wallpapers and dynamic mode not anything new there so that stays the same here for iOS 11 now pulling it down that is your new notification tray it's pretty much the lock screen on your notification tray so so far it's kind of clean but that's gonna be up to your opinion whether you like that or not and here is one of the famed features people have been talking about hating on loving who knows but you do have the new control center and even on iPhone 5s you get a little bit of a 3d touch looking effect here for the control center everything's in one place so it's no longer two pages to get to your different controls here and you could raise the volume to me it looks kind of like a controller or one of those TV apps with IR blasters on Android phones that's my personal opinion you may differ but overall everything seems to be working pretty well here from the control center here in base Beta one but it is a little bit laggy from time to time when opening a lot of these applications on iPhone 5s iOS 11 but other than that nice new features here in control center we also will see changes in the calculator but still no history come on iPhone still no history in the calculator but other than that the design UI looks a little bit more modern I think but you might not like the new calculator going into calendar looks identical to iOS 10 except for the fact that now we have the bold type font face like I said it's gonna be pretty much across this UI you kind of seen this in Apple music last year but now it's coming across the platform the clock app is exactly the same so no changes in the clock app the weather app I did notice a little bit of a difference now the weather is bigger here and this little area down here where you see information is also larger for your eyes so if you did have a problem seeing it it's gonna be a little bit better there for you now Apple HomeKit does bring speaker support and that's about it in terms of iMessages you do have new sticker packs at the bottom which are now available for applications such as the ones you have around your iPhone which is gonna be nice also Apple Pay will be included in this application now for Apple Pay person to person like PayPal straight from your iMessage and Apple services so here is a look at the task switcher it does look a little bit cleaner to me but it's very very laggy right now in beta 1 so I would definitely not recommend downloading this software currently 
Here is something new though. You see that little blue file folder? We finally have a file folder here on the iPhone 5S. We've been wanting this for years on iPhones and we always were looking at Android phones like, man, I wish I had that. Not going to Android, but I wish I had that file system. And here it is on Apple iPhone. This is also gonna be very useful for iPad users, but you can see you do have it right here. We're gonna have to see a little bit more about this going forward to see if this is a half-baked feature or if it's actually an in-depth robust file system. But right now it's looking like a cloud storage file system so far, which is still okay. Here in the dialer app, we do have a different shade of numbers. Behind the numbers, you can see it's visually different. This also looks the same on the lock screen when you have your passcode in, that's gonna look similar as well. You can see in the contacts application, we do have favorites, which also has the bold type font face. And also in the contacts section, you will see that as well. So this is pretty much a similarity and synchronized across iOS 11. Now we do have the app store right here, a flat looking icon here. So a little bit different, no more circle around the A, but you can see there's a whole new redesign to the app store. And it does show at the bottom here, you can see we have the today view, we have games, apps, updates, search. It's very clean, very simple. A lot of people are gonna like this simple UI. To me, it looks a lot like the music application of last year but hey it's gonna be easier to use it's not gonna be as much digging around to find stuff and it's gonna be easier on the eyes because it's bigger so here is the new Siri look and feel so if we go ahead and hold down Siri looks about the same when you're talking but the Siri icon is a little bit different there at the bottom you're gonna see visual changes there as well for the 5s now Apple music doesn't look any different in terms of its design elements it actually already looked like this all year and kind of was a hint to what we were gonna see in iOS but you can now share curated playlist with your friends so if you're not you know with them you could just be like hey this is the music I'm listening to on Apple music also I did notice that the battery icon is definitely different here in iOS 11 it looks a little bit more like what we find on the Apple MacBook so pretty nice overall now in Apple wallet Apple pay is gonna be updated to where you can do pay person to person with your iPhone so this is gonna be really great for those of you who don't want to use PayPal you want the secure Apple service but I did notice in iOS 11 we still cannot move our icons where we want to put our icons come on apple come on this would be a very simple thing we could do this on the mac why can't we do this here on the iphone and also i noticed at the bottom there is no longer text under the dock icons which looks a little bit more familiar to maybe if you jailbroke your iphone but going through the performance it is absolutely horrible right now super super laggy guys do not go ahead and update your 5s to ios 11 beta if you do want decent performance wait till the public release that'll barely be more better for using it every single day here but i'm telling you right now very slow very laggy some apps are gonna twitch some apps are gonna hang and you heard it here first maybe second I don't know but just don't update this now if this is your primary smartphone if it is a side iPhone in the drawer go ahead check it out download it. it's not gonna be a problem because of course it's a side iPhone but iOS 11 brings some solid new visual changes not too much that I'm impressed by but hey what do you think comment down below hit that video like button if you enjoyed this content subscribe to the channel for more tech videos like this Nick Alpine and Massey technology be sure to be well and peace